where it's all about. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, Gary, you know, we keep reading that in California there's a different take on COVID. We're finding that. They take it more seriously, and that's affecting the stores. One shop owner told me that business is down on Rodeo Drive 90 percent since COVID. It's hard to believe, but they said because there are celebrities with big bucks, they can stay afloat. Whole different world here. It's going to be a different world for us on Sunday. And I have to tell you, there is a Super Bowl commercial that is aimed at the world, and it is courtesy of Cincinnati. Well, millions of eyes will be on the big game in SoFi Stadium Sunday. One Super Bowl commercial will be played only in Chicago, aimed at touting Cincinnati and clearly saying to businesses, if you want change, try the Queen City. It gives people a chance to really discover Cincinnati. Western and Southern CEO John Barrett is behind famous moments like this in Cincinnati, and now he wants to capture another moment. It's time that people get serious about what they're going to do. A big company may only have 200 jobs that move with it to the headquarters, but the vicarious business that they generate is through the moon. The success the Bengals team is having this season will mean more primetime football games next season and more attention to our riverfront and amenities from outside the region. People will think of Cincinnati differently, not just professional sports, but college sports. We are a hub of activity here. We ought to get recognized for it. For sure. Five minutes on the road in L.A. and you are slapped with the $5 a gallon gas sign. We've got more than the Bengals to our credit. Can I get a who day? Who day? Who day? Oh, my goodness. $5 a gallon gas, Lamborghinis. What difference does it make if you can afford a car like that? We've seen a couple. Really? I mean, what, what do you think behind the, the camera there? $200,000 at least some of those cars? <laughs> Ed Burkholder said more.